looking hood gangster today. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> That's my attempt at dancing. Hey, how's it going, YouTube? And yes, before you ask, no, I have not re-put up my posters. I have just not had the time. You are lucky I'm even doing this video right now with how busy I am. So it's been a really long time since we did our first video, if you remember way, way back in the day. I'm already sweating. It's not even hot. I've just been setting up lights. Ah, memories. Gosh darn it. Stay up. So a lot has changed since then. I mean, we've gotten into practically summertime with the way this heat has been. Do you see? Do you see the sweat that is forming on my face? Excuse me, I need a quick dab. There. I'm pretty now, right? You better say yes. So a lot of stuff has actually grown and we actually been in the fields planting stuff. That's all we've been doing right now in order to get ready for July for like corn, strawberries, blueberries and stuff like that. So I thought it was time that we did another farm tour. Only this time it'll be a market and farm tour. Please enjoy. At the house we make our way down and going across the driveway we make our way across the street where we see some fields that we planted some stuff in. Have to wait until traffic goes by. And here we go. This doesn't seem like a whole lot, but trust me, things are growing in here and they're getting really, really big. Here we have some flowers, just a little guy we got going on here. Two rows that are gonna become cutting flowers. Here we have some peppers, tomatoes, beans, and some cucumbers along with zucchini. We've got a couple rows of these guys all mixed and match and they're growing really big. Now we're gonna travel on our way down here looking to the right and to the left of all the stuff that I reviewed before. And here we come to some strawberry patches. Look how glorious and red that strawberry is. Coming around the corner, we approach some corn. Look at this little guy. Him and his buddies are getting real big. We're going to exit this field now and go across to another field that is once again across the street. <laughs> to the right we come upon some rhubarb. It always fascinates me how big these bushes get. Here we are onto our new field. And do you guys remember those lettuce that we transplanted so long ago? Well, here they are once again, getting big and full. Here we have corn also. It's a little bit weedy, but no worries. All that will go away once it grows out. We also have some beans in this field too, of all sorts of variety and sizes. Of course, can't forget red beets. Going to the left of this field, we have a special little treat in what is blackberry bushes. Now we just planted these this year and it actually takes five years until they can become fully grown. We'll now make our way to the front. There's a lot of twists and turns on this farm market. And here we have some peach trees. Not quite ready yet, but they'll be coming soon. To get you guys a little familiar on where we're at, here's the pond that I've mentioned before. 
Then to the right of the pond, here's where we store a lot of our tractors and other field equipment. And here's the seating house. The seating house is actually closed as we moved a lot of our other stuff down front. That completes the field tour. Let's go ahead and look at the farm market. This is a new product that we have called succulents. It's like a cactus and it likes the dry weather. And I love it so much because of how unique it is. And you can mix and match it with all sorts of other flowers that like the dry weather. Moving back from the succulents, we go ahead and venture our way into the farm market. Here's the inside, here's the counter and everything else that goes along with it. And, oh, wait a minute, who is that? Ripley. <laughs> oh my. Here's some asparagus that we have available. And to the left of the asparagus, we have some strawberries. Look how wonderful and red that is. Speaking of red, here's tomatoes that we also have available. Florida watermelons. Not PA watermelons, but these sure are sweet. In our new fridge that we've gotten, we have some lettuce, spinach, radishes, onions, strawberries, and eggs. This fridge is always in full supply. To the left of the watermelons, this is actually our new place where we make arranged pots and planters for the public. And that's pretty much the current tour of Oryx Farm Market. So there you guys go. You guys got a little bit more of an in-depth tour of where everything is. I even went back and revisited some places that we planted before. <laughs> you see, I'm struggling with words. That we planted before, so you guys can see how much everything has grown. And strawberries are in short supply as of right now, just because they're only just starting. So be sure to stop by and get your strawberries as soon as possible. So on that note, I realized that at the end of my videos, I say on that note and it's either on that note or so with that being said. So I'm gonna try and not say that. And ah, it's hard. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe because it can really help the channel because it will really help the channel grow. And be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Bye. Hey, how's it going? Can't wink.